Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to look at how you can add and import departments to a customer's account. So let's dive straight in. From the admin panel we go the start button, come up to customer manager, we do a search for a demo customer that we've been using, which is Steve Jobs. Click through on the customer ID and we go along to the departments tab. Now from here we can see we've got a whole bunch of departments set up. We can add a new department manually by clicking on this button. We can import a whole bunch of departments en masse through an Excel spreadsheet um, using the import departments function. I'll show you how that works in a second. So to start with, let's just add a new department. So we'll call this um, dummy dep and the department description can be test dummy department. Now guys, you can also, that's the only required fields to set up a department, but like if you've watched the cost centers video, you'll see that we can also do budgeting at the cost center and department level. A very limited number of customers or dealers will use this function, but it is there for guys who want to use it. So you can set a department start date, renew the budget every month, week, year, however often, and then set a budget value for the department. But right now we're just going to set up the basic department itself. So department code and description. Go ahead and click save and that's now been added. Okay, You can click through on any department code to go and edit that department, uh, make your changes and click save. So that's how easy it is to add a department, super simple. Now we want to import departments. So we do that by clicking the import departments button. Download our template, don't use your own, download the template we provide. I've already done one, I've got one prepared so if I just bring that up, it's um, this guy here. The template itself is super simple. It's only two columns, department code and description. So we've got some test data here. We'll save this as an XLS file. So that shows up in Excel as an Excel 97-2003 workbook. But it should just default to that anyway. Um, I'm going to overwrite the one I've got saved and we're done. Back to the website, we browse to the file that we've just created, uh, which is this one here, customers underscore departments. Click open and upload. Takes just a few seconds, comes back and says three new items processed. So there you go, departments, super simple to add and import. They serve as a reporting function, so it would be really handy at this point to go and watch the users video because that's going to explain how you can default a user into a specific cost center stroke department and then any user spend gets allocated back to those departments and cost centers and that generates the reporting values. So that's all cost centers and departments do. They're in there purely as a reporting function. That kind of wraps this video and we'll see you again on the next one.